and oh guys we are in a game already let's head over to the pvp scene so it's a little bit cleaner uh but okay i believe this is the only team we're working on uh and hey spooky uh, i've been playing a few days just got off the airship on the second island i think it's pretty fun spooky it's funny you say that you're having fun and you're just getting started you know i don't want to spoil anything but it only gets better right so enjoy spooky it's such a blast i love this game uh but all right chat let's try out the baba wall and Riken team as someone trying to learn compared the garden website super helpful for sure baby legs is super super helpful and i believe the french website is also super helpful too so shout out to them And of course, chat, of course it would be Mr. Spectra. <laughs> Guys, to be honest, I haven't taken a single game off Spectra, so this is going to be tough for me. I'm wondering what my ban is going to be. I'm thinking Yukama, but on that same note, I do have Babawa. But if he bans Babawa, I feel like Yukama kind of hurts me. Or does Rotor hurt me a little bit more? Or does or does Amphitheater hurt me a little bit more? Chat, I'm not too used to playing this team, so bear with me. I have to get used to, or I got to get acquainted with the weak, uh, weaknesses and strengths of this team. Ah, guys, it's either going to be Yukama, Rotor. Yeah, I can't really think, guys. I, I'm feeling extra rusty all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> i am feeling like stupidly rested all of a sudden uh you know what when in doubt just ban rotor out huh if he bans babawa if he goes yukama what do we go gozi and um i'll think i'll think about it depending on what he starts and hey fool our second place runner up welcome through fool good to see ya He's using the, the team you made. Oh, fool. Is this your team from yesterday? Impressive. <laughs> uh, but hey, fool. I owe you some pantsons today, by the way. So don't let me forget. All right, fool. I owe you some good old pantsons. And hey, squishy as fishies. Good morning. Good morning, sir. All right, chat. So are we starting off with Babawa? What hurts Babawa here? I don't think anything hurts Bawa that greatly. Let's start off with it. I feel like it feels fine. And hey, woohoo. Good day, good day, woohoo. How are you doing? So hopefully Bawa is like, okay. Maybe he thinks I'm mucus and doesn't want to go Tokon or something. So let's see. All right, he goes Kinu. So he probably pairs that up with maybe like Mudrid or Yukama. So I can't go Tokon. I might be interested in starting a Rotor here. Yeah, I had a feeling Yukama was coming in. So I could either go Golzi. Golzi, Rotor, Mooflink are my options. I really need Tokon in here though. These are, these are a lot of crystals. All right, let's go Gozi. I feel like that's okay, right? Cause oh, I maybe maybe oh, I have to think about this a little bit more. You know, my next ban is probably going to be Mudrid, chat. I'm feeling the Mudrid because it could hurt one of my fire temps, right? Because, yeah, he's eyeing the fires, right? Spectre's saying, you know, plus these fire temps temp kind of hurt my team. And no, Spectre banning our Riken. <laughs> All right, well, since Riken's out of the equation, uh, let's take out Amphideer, chat. I feel like Amphideer is going to be hard to take down. So with Amphideer down, I think Tolkon does really good work against his back line. And then we'll probably end up pick uh, Rotor Yukama, right? Because he probably picks up a Barnchi knowing that I have two men, uh, two neutrals back here. So Rotor for these crystals slash Tokon. And then, um, and then Yukama for the Barnchi, huh? Yeah, so it looks like Yukama is just a pickup here. It doesn't do too good here, but at least we have these guys and this for these. So let's pick up Yukama and then Rotor to close things out. 
All right, chat, while we got a couple seconds here, what is my opening line? <laughs> so WCL and then electric kind of covers a lot of things, except these crystals, huh? So yeah, this is gonna be an interesting turn one. I'm not sure if I want to uh, just use my main on switch though. True Ash, can you just migrate it over to switch? Is it that easy to do? But alright guys, first game of the day, and you guys know Spectra, his name in chat is Fue Coco. So if you guys ever talk to a Fue Coco, this is who we're playing against. Maybe WCL and Uppercut Lionborn, I like what you're thinking. So it is going to be a protector proc here, interesting. And the mom's lunch is going to hurt, it's definitely going to hurt a little bit. Uh, let me think about this turn for just one second. So I do know that WCL is not no longer 3 priority. And it's only 115 damage. So let me look at that back line. If Yukama stays in, the most he could do is a good old water cannon on Golzi, right? But I don't think Yukama wants to stay in because of my WCL. Maybe just Tokon. No, I don't think he got... It's only Mudred, right? I think that has to be the only way. But you know Lionborn... Why would he be, uh, Mudred does get a little hit by WCL too, right? Nature does double damage to Mudred as well, so I don't think he has a good swap in. Let's just go WCL here. And then, hmm, do we uppercut or just hasty lunge for the fact that he might just stay in, right? Uh, hits everything. I think so too, Pat. I think it's the only way, guys. So let's just go for it. We already have the nature synergy, so it looks okay. Let's go for a hasty here. It's gonna be Mudred, though, and we should have done the uppercut. And it's the Tokon, so that hasty lunge is looking okay. Interesting. It's gonna be a, pro, uh, a Pyromaniac, Chad. This is not a heater trait Tokon. So, I'm wondering if we almost should have gone for um, for a little ice cubes on the read, but I think it was a little bit too hard to read that. So, now we could throw the ice cubes. I just don't know if it's worth it. I feel like we just clicked WCL again because it's going to kill, right? Yeah, we click WCL and then maybe we swap in the token of our own. That way, Kinu can start getting a little chip. And that way we could keep at least Golzi for the Yukama, right? Uh, and yeah, Brutal Felix, uh, WCL would have been fire. But let's just do uh, this kills either way, right? I could save a little stamina though, chat. I could save a little stamina. You know, just in case he swaps in Yukama, thinking that I go for water move and then I swap in Tokon, let's click WCL chat. Just in case he swaps in Yukama here, thinking that I go Tokon. And hey, Nash, what's going on? Chat, is it really better to run Aquatic Whirlwind? I was thinking about it. Uh, if Ba wants to play the rest game, I, I wouldn't much be better. Stamina sustain. Ah, PH, I like what you're saying. I'll consider it. I was just thinking Sweat Band because it was the first thing that came to mind. Uh, but I like what you're saying. You can change traits to Luma Tem, right? Yeah, many moods. You just need a, a Telomere uh, hotfix. A trait swap hotfix. So, you know what? I should have maybe clicked Ice Cubes. I was just thinking maybe he would go for the read. Because now Yukama comes in here. And my Babawa has to overexert, right? It doesn't look too good. <laughs> you know, chat. Maybe I need to run way more stamina on this guy. As you know, now I'm forced to rest, right? This Kinu is such a problem, guys. This Kinu is insane. 
Uh, you can AWC CEO and trade Tokon for Yukama. The platform, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was just thinking about going for the Yukama, but I don't think we trade because the Yukama has one protector buff, right? But you know, Pat, I trade the Tokon. How in the world am I taking the Kinu down, right? That's a problem. Uh, just go NATO. Yeah, e e that's what I'm thinking, Eos. That's exactly the first thing that came to mind. I just want to make sure I wasn't trying to throw because how are we taking down the Kinu chat? I don't have too much of time to think about it. Uh, but now I know that I probably want at least like 10 more stamina or something. We'll see. Oh, he swapped out. I thought he was going to stay in and kill my Tokon. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so he got me there. He got me pretty good, but this WCL should still chunk a little bit. And Pat, you think leave it for last? All right, all right. So we're trapped in now. Babawa has to rest. At least we heal chat. He doesn't know where we're draw, right? So we're going to recover. <laughs> we are going to be recovering. So let's just rest because we're not threatened out by anything. And then I'm thinking of just fiery souling the Barnchi. Even if Yukama does come in, at least we get a little bit of damage. I just want to make sure we outspeed, right? Yeah, I believe that's the only thing we do, chat. That's the only thing that comes to mind right now. Obviously, he could swap in for uh, for Yukama again, but we're resting on the Babawa, so it should be okay. Uh, F so Barnchi is what I was thinking too. Yeah, platform is looking like rather straightforward for now. Rather little straightforward for now. Kinu's running out of stamina. Uh, we still have a healthy Babawa for the Yukama. We have a Rotor for the Mudrid. We have a Golzi for the Yukama slash Kinu. Uh, uh, compro Lumas con buenos stats. Ah, Hero Max, que me dijiste? En words, muchísimas gracias por ayudando Hero Max. Gracias, gracias. So, Spectre's thinking here. And you know, chat, do you guys think it's better to run Macha instead of Swepian? Do you guys think that's better for Babawa? Uh, just plan your Diabola accordingly for Gozi swapping. All right, so if it survives, that is the question, right? And it does. So this is turn two. So Diabolo procs the next turn. Oh, the neutrality. <laughs> All right, guys. The neutrality coming in. Aquatic whirlwind and refreshing Diabolo coming in hot, hot, hot. <laughs> that is a play, chat. That is a play and a half. Uh, I thought I had one more turn on Diabolos, but yeah, Eos, I kind of miscalculated on accident. But uh, it seems a little bit obvious that it's going to be Kinu. So what if we go WCL here and then just Fiery Soul and just leave the little, uh, leave the Barnchi alone? I mean, he always outspeeds us, right? I don't really want to trade because he probably just goes Tornado. But you know, I only got 20 seconds to think about this. Should I just kill the Barnchi now? I need to do damage where I can, right? I think we I think we trade, the, uh, we trade this damage. I'm going to just go for F-Soul just in case. No, I should have F-Soul the Barnchi. Dang it, chat. Dang it. Uh, I would swap Yukama, right? I think he is going to swap, but I, I messed up, chat. I should have fiery sold the Bornchi. Because uh, unless the Bornchi goes for a Gamma Burst, that's the only way the Tolkon is dying, right? Yeah, uh, Eos, I messed up. I kind of clicked the buttons a little bit fast. I needed to kill the Bornchi this turn because he's going to get too much value. And interesting, he does swap out. Oh, this is going to chunk. So, Aquatic Whirlwind Wreck and Nimble. <laughs> Interesting, chat. He goes for the Nimble. I thought he was just going to kill the Tokon here. Uh, and sheesh. At least we get perhaps Golzi. But the Nimble adding the speed is very tough for the Golzi, right? And so close. 1.1%. All right. All right. So, what are we doing here, chat? Aquatic Whirlwind just kills the Golzi, right? He definitely outspeeds me. And hey, said, how are you doing? Welcome on through, sir. Our resin traps online. We don't want to Yukama. 
Man, it's literally only Golzi, right? And he kills me with Aquatic Whirlwind. So I'm a little bit stumped. I'm a little bit stumped, but I can't do Rotor right now. I I, I just have to get, play Golzi, right? A real life menace to Zax. He's looking good. Spectre's doing good. I thought Ali's the only one that played Nimble. I'm saying Razorfin. Taking a little page out of their book. But you know, we have three priority here. I don't think that's enough to outspeed. But it does save me some stamina, right? So what if we just throw that over to Yukama spot? And then we hasty lunge if we can the Kinu. It's just gonna die, right? It's gonna die, but just in the weird world that we just outspeed. Yeah, it's looking hard. A quarter whirlwind kills the Gozi, which is why we had to guarantee kill the Yukama, right? Uh, he's gonna double kill. Yeah, I know, I know, Eos. And the hypnosis. <laughs> All right, Chad, this is looking a little bit tough for us. Aquatic Whirlwind is down. I think it's Rotor time, chat. I think it's Rotor. Just save the Yukama for Mudrid. Because I don't want to get Resin Trap. And at the very least, we get Reactive Vile, right? But to be fair, chat, a water cannon plus a resin trap probably really chunks me. So I think we just go Yukama. You gotta go Golder here. Platform, I was thinking Yukama just because it's just gonna chunk me way too hard. Chat, let's just go Yukama here. But your rotor is not reactive. Swiss Life, did I not have reactive on him? Wait a second. Swiss Life, I swear I had reactive on him. All right, let's just um, ice cubes in case. And then water cannon here. This is going to hurt though. If Rotor has rush, you can go Rotor. Eos, I don't have rush. I should have done it. But hey, Swiss Life, what item did you see on Rotor? I swear I have reactive vial. If I don't have reactive vial, that's going to be really, really tough. If I don't have reactive vial, I'll add it after this game. Razbad Rotor is what you have. Swiss Life, are you serious? Did I mess up my move flank with my Rotor? Oh, chat, I am such a pebega. I am such a pebega. So Resin Trap is going to be chunking that Yukama pretty good. But at least he runs out of stamina. Aquatic Whirlwind goes online. And now we have WCL Synergy up on the Babawa, right? So yeah, so it's like, forgive me. I was supposed to have Reactive Vile. I don't know why I didn't have it. I have a Razor Fin. That, that little Kini was going to give me troubles. The Hypnosis Lock is what he's thinking right now, right? The Hypnosis Lock is going to be a bit of a problem. A Razor Fin, he absolutely did overexert. If you didn't see his HP, his HP did go down. So he did overexert. Uh, and yeah, Platform, I saw it. I saw it, chat. I did see it. And hey, you know what? I'm loving Babawa already, right? He's just been chilling on the board the entire game. <laughs> I'm loving Babawa so far. Yeah, Razorfin, rewind the wa the VOD a little bit. Uh, Kinu definitely overexerted there. Okay, so I think this is like a bait and switch. I think this is definitely a bait and switch into the Barnchi. Uh, but do I even play around that? Or how do I even play around that? There's just no playing around that, guys. I mean, the only way to play around is try to do an attack that hurts Kinu more, so... Wait, does this reset? Uh, I got 12 seconds, chat. I mean, I guess we just gun it. We just gun it down. Save uh, just ice cream water can. Eos, you think just go a little casual? What if he stayed in like we're seeing here, though? That is the issue. And you comma, can you live, sir? <laughs> All right, not too bad. All right, we do get the double kill. So it's Kinu versus the world. Kinu with the hypno lock. This is going to be a little bit interesting, to say the least. So we get a nice little double kill. But this will be a little bit interesting. The Kinu uh, versus a non-reactive vile rotor. <laughs> Guys, a non-reactive vile rotor. What are we doing with that? 
Uh, so I think I want to rest because I don't want to overexert. Or we just ice cubes. <laughs> yeah, I guess we just ice cubes just to do like a little something. Yeah, I guess they're just ice cubes. And then we just go for water cannon. We just got to get damage there. You know, guys, I think this is still looking a bit weird because I don't have reactive vial rotor. If I had reactive vial rotor, I feel a lot better. But I think we have this, chap. I think we have this. I brought the wrong token. Wait, Coco, that would have worked. And hey, I call you for Coco, but of course, Spectra, it would have worked because my Babawa is not mucus. So you would have you would have got the heater trait on my on my Babawa. But hey, GG spec, GG, GG. And there we go, guys. First game of the day. And yeah, guys, Spectre bringing in the... And you know, Spectre, I, when you brought in the token, I'm like, wait a second, it's Pyromaniac. <laughs> uh, but hey, Spectre, GG, sir.